Well, good morning, everyone. Um, we appreciate everybody joining from our schools uh, across the country for our virtual tour today. We've had um, a pretty exciting run so far. We've uh, our 30 for 31 uh, with uh, deference to ESPN's 30 for 30 documentary series. We decided to do 31 uh, college tours around the country um, in honor of our 31st year and to really help students get a feel for um, the different types of colleges that are out there. Um, really excited about today. Uh, Thomas College, um, I think, is a, a great representation of a smaller school. I mean, we, have at, we had Ohio State on, we've had the University of Vermont on, we've had sort of different types of public and private institutions. Um, and I think it's today, I'm very excited and pleased that Thomas College has agreed to do this. And um, we're really going to give our students a look at, um, you know, what they, what they offer, uh, uh, how they deal with students, um, everything from, you know, kind of campus, uh, you know, what's on campus to academics. And uh, so we appreciate that. I'm going to turn it over to Nicole Smith, who is Associate Director of Admissions at Thomas College. Wonderful, thank you. And before I get started, I am going to hand it over to our president, um, Lori Lachance. Thanks. That's thanks to the real Nicole Smith. I know it says I'm Nicole Smith, but I'm not. But it's uh, my name's Lori, and I'm really, really honored to be with you today. I've been the president at Thomas for uh, going on eleven years, and prior to that, I, I'm a non-traditional president. Uh, my first part of my career for almost three decades was as an economist. So projecting the economic needs, the demographic trends of our state and region. And because of that, I come with this unique view of what you may want and need in a college education. And I can't imagine another college I'd rather work at for what it offers the students. Um, we're, we are small, we're in a more rural area with beautiful landscape all around us and lots to do in the great outdoors of Maine, uh, but also access to other more metropolitan areas. But our education is one that has always in our 125 plus years history focused on developing careers that will change lives. And that's what we do. We'll offer you an education that uh, gives you not only knowledge of the field you're interested in, that, that you'll get in the classroom, but skills and, and work on your attributes. So you'll get skills with hands-on uh, programming, with internships, with opportunities to meet with employers, uh, technology skills, innovation skills that will allow you to bring real value to the workplace and also develop your own personal sense of self. Um, you'll have a chance to be a leader on campus, to develop your leadership skills, and many other of the attributes that are what employers are work, looking for as they look to hire. Um, we are ranked in the top in the nation among our peers of what we offer in terms of being part of a community. Everyone who graduates says the, the greatest asset of coming to Thomas was getting to know your professors and having very personal relationships with coaches and mentors and people across the campus that support everything you do. We also guarantee you a job um, trying to uh, make sure you have everything you need so that you can get a job and launch a career once you leave here. So I just wanna end with, uh, you're gonna hear a lot of specifics about the college, but um, I wanna just say, as you search for a college, it's the most personal decision you're gonna make in your life. So I urge you all to consider what are your own dreams? What do you want and need from a college community? Uh, we hope you'll pick Thomas because we offer a very personal experience you get to pick personally your own major. If you, we don't have your major, you can construct your own major. Um, you can go at your own timeline, your own pace to get through more quickly if you'd like. And it's all your choice. So if you're looking for a, a small community, um, we'd love to have you. But overall, what's most important is that you choose a place that's right for you 
where you know you'll thrive. So thanks for giving us a look and hope to meet you someday. Thank you. Thank Wonderful. you. Yeah. All right, thank you. Um, so I just also wanna say welcome and thank you for joining us virtually today to learn a little bit more about Thomas College, which we're located in Waterville, Maine and what we have to offer you. Um, first, we're gonna go around um, and introduce you to our admissions team. Um, so I'll go ahead and start. My name is Nicole Smith. I'm the Associate Director here in the Admissions Office and I help work um, with our admissions counselors to get students familiar with college and what Thomas has to offer. And I also oversee any of the events that happen on campus. So. Um, please ask me any questions if you have um, questions about upcoming events or what else, what events we have to offer you. Um, but up next, we have Seth. Hello and good morning, everyone. Uh, so my name is Seth Reed. I'm one of the admissions counselors here. Um, Part of my responsibilities include uh, overlooking all group visits. So a lot of our um, uh, neighboring high schools will come and set up high school visits with us, their senior classes, their junior classes and things like that. I oversee a lot of those. Uh, my territory includes the greater state of Maine, um, but I also have territory in uh, parts of Maryland, Pennsylvania and Florida. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call, text, anything like that. So thank you. Oh, sorry, Marina, we still can't hear you. We are having a little bit te technical difficulties with Zoom, um, but this is Marina Bragg. She has just recently started in the admissions office. Um, she is overseeing um, some states out of side of Maine, um, but also in Maine in our county area. Um, she also works on helping us do inventory in the office, and she'll be also working with some international students as well. So that is Marina. If she want to one last wave. <laughs> Uh, my name is Ryan Kappelman. Um, this is also my first year working here. I graduated from Thomas last year where I worked as a student ambassador and I'm now a full admissions counselor. I'm loving it. Uh, my territories are New Hampshire, Connecticut, and a lot of out of states. So any questions, please feel free to let me know. Hello everybody, my name is Connor. I am the underclassman recruiter here at Thomas. Some of my responsibilities include um, overseeing some of the applications you get from sophomores and juniors. I also help with um, visits that we have on campus and anything that we have um, in terms of applications. So whether it's application material or anything dealing with the admissions process here at Thomas, um, I'm usually the guy for that. So if you have any questions in terms of um, your application or anything like that, Feel free to let me know. Hello, I'm Brooke. I am also an admissions counselor at Thomas. Um, I work with schools that offer dual enrollment classes through Thomas, whether it be a math class or a social studies class. Um, so I'm able to go into those classrooms and speak about dual enrollment, but also speak about Thomas itself. Um, and that kind of follows along my territory. I go to all of those schools in Maine that offer those classes. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to call or text or whatever is easiest. And I'm Marissa. I think I'm the last of the admissions counselors. Um, I work with all the international students, the transfer students. Um, I also have territories in Massachusetts, New York, and the West Coast. So Washington, Oregon, California, Arizona, and Colorado. And if you have any questions about, and if you're out of staters, what it's like coming to Maine, I'm originally from Seattle. So I'm always open to helping answer those questions. Hi, everybody. I'm excited to meet you. My name is Luke Shorty. I'm the Executive Director of Strategic Initiatives at Thomas College. Some of those strategic initiatives are uh, international uh, students and recruiting, hence the Hall of Flags you can see in my background uh, here, and also uh, helping to initiate the connection and the relationship that we have with CFES Brilliant Pathways. And we're really excited and happy that you guys are hosting us. And I think 
as you watch these videos and learn about Thomas College, you're really going to see what a special and amazing institute this is. So with that, I'll hand it back over to Nicole. Awesome, thank you. Thank you everyone for introducing yourselves. Um, before we introduce our students, I just wanna give you a little agenda of the day, what's, what our hour is gonna look like. Um, so what we're gonna do is like we do with our introductions, we're gonna have a small slideshow to show you about a couple things that make Thomas unique. Um, then you're gonna meet our students and they're gonna take you on a virtual tour. Um, after our virtual tour, there's going to be a little student panel where we can open up to any questions and they're also gonna talk based off their experience here. Um, and then we will make sure that you have our contact information or and a QR code to scan if you have addition, need additional information. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. All right, I hope everyone can see that all right. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so uh, first slide, uh, just to give a little bit of background information about Thomas College before we uh, go through the rest of the presentation. So as Lori mentioned earlier, we were established in 1894. Uh, we are a relatively small campus. We have approximately 1,000 students that attend full-time. Uh, and of those 1,000, that includes our undergraduate population, obviously, and then also our graduate population, too. Um, of these roughly 1,000 students, um, they are from 22 different states in 12 countries. Um, and we are also uh, a part of the NCAA. We're a Division III school, and we are a member of the NAC, um, the North Atlanta Conference, and we have uh, 17 varsity teams. So, hi, sorry, I was having technical difficulties, so I had to take over Luke's desk. <laughs> um, but what makes Thomas unique? Um, so, we offer um, professional and career development. This is an office here at Thomas with a team of staff that will work with you to find your individual interests. Um, and they will help find a career path after you graduate or even internships while you're still a student here. Um, for the guaranteed job program, we will guarantee you a job six months after you graduate. Um, if you do not have a job within your career field within six months, we will pay a year of your student loans or even a year towards your master's here at Thomas. Um, we also offer a three-in-one program, which means it's an accelerated program where you could graduate with an undergrad degree in three years and a master's within one year. So within four years of what your traditional undergrad degree would be, you would actually graduate with a master's. Um, in our early college access, that's our dual enrollment classes for junior and senior high school students to allow you to take some Thomas classes free of charge towards you. Um, and then we also offer locked in tuition as well. Any questions? Sorry. So we have a brand new sports center on campus too. Um, right in the middle is our tunnel. So teams will walk out of the tunnel, there'll be lights going, music going, the crowd will be going crazy, and it's gonna make for a really awesome new playing environment for on our two turf fields. Um, some other cool things about the, our new sports center, there are gonna be new home and away locker rooms. The home locker rooms are gonna have two flat screen TVs, as well as an iPad, which will help go over, break down game film, and stuff like that. Um, there's gonna be a new esports arena. We also have an esports team on campus. So their new arena is gonna be in there. There's gonna be a new weight room, <clears throat> which is gonna be mainly free weights. There's gonna be a little turf area, a new strength and conditioning coach. And we're also gonna have a classroom, uh, classroom and like meeting room right in the middle, as well as coaches offices. So we are super excited for this new sports center and it's, we toured it and it is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to talk about um, the application process here at Thomas. Um, it, all it takes is the submission of four key items. So number one is going to be your application. Um, this can occur through the common application or through our Thomas College app, which you can find on our website. Number two is your high school transcript. Number three is your college essay. Um, this is an essay. There's no requirements what you write about. Um, this is kind of just so we can get to know you. Letter, uh, number four is a letter of recommendation. 
Um, this can be from anybody except your family members, because we all know you can be a little biased of yourself. Um, we are test optional, so we do not require the submission of SAT or CAT scores prior to your acceptance into our Thomas College family. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's four simple steps towards your future, four simple steps towards you. Um, so at Thomas, we find it really important to reward um, high schoolers on all of their hard work. Um, so we give out merit scholarships based on GPAs. Uh, this is based on a 4.0 scale. Um, our highest scholarship is for students who receive a 3.2 GPA or higher. Um, these students will receive $18,000 a year split up um, per semester. Um, our next scholarship is for students who receive a 2.8 to a 3.1 nine GPA. Um, students will receive um, $14,000 a year. And then our next scholarship that we offer is for students who receive a 2.4 to a 2.79 GPA, and these students will receive $10,000 a year. Um, those are all based on on-campus living. If you were to live off-campus, um, for our, our first scholarship would be $13,000 a year, um, our second would be $10,000 a year, and then our last would be $5,000 a year. So this year we did just launch a new scholarship and it's called Welcome to Maine Scholarship. Uh, this scholarship is $2,000 and renewable each year of the four years. So even if they wanna take a fifth year for their master's, it is only for that first four years. Um, and the study, or it's sorry, it is up to $8,000. So for that four years, you're able to renew it each year. Um, this new scholarship is open to any student who resides outside of the state of Maine. So even if they're in Portsmouth, which is right over the border of Maine, they still qualify for this scholarship. Um, all international students do as well. Wonderful. Thank you. So those are a little, um, a little bit more information to um, for you to know a little bit more about Thomas College. Um, we have a QR code right now um, to learn more. It is active. So if you are interested in Thomas College, please scan this and fill out the form. Um, that way we can send you any information, updated information, along with um, events that we have going on campus or like we were talking about scholarships that we could have to offer as well. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen now and we are going next. Um, oh, so next we are going, I'm going to, all of our students are going to go around and introduce themselves, and then they're going to jump right into the virtual tour, and um, then we'll do a student panel after. I'll start it off. Um, my name is Owen Orlando. I'm a third year student here at Thomas. Uh, I'm a psychology and political science double major. I do a bunch of different things on campus with clubs, activities. Um, I'm the current diversity, equity, and inclusion intern, uh, and I'm a student ambassador here to help you guys out. So uh, again, questions, we definitely are here to answer them. Uh, we're here for you guys. I'll go next. Um, my name is Mia. I am the lead student ambassador at the moment. Um, I am in my third and last year of my criminal justice and forensic psychology degree here. Um, I don't play any sports, but I do um, the psychology club. I do a lot of tours here. Um, and like Owen said, um, me and him will be taking you on tour a little later. So feel free to ask any questions. We are very versed in this campus. I will go next. Um, my name is Shauna. I am a third year senior. I will also be graduating in May with my forensic psychology um, degree and a criminal justice minor. Um, like the other students here, I'm a student ambassador, very involved on campus between clubs, groups, um, and extracurricular activities. Um, and I'm happy to be here. I'll go next. My name is Parker. I'm a fourth year here at Thomas. I'm a forensic accounting major. Um, I'm in my last semester right now for my undergrad, but I'll be coming back in January to start the master's, which I will be doing business administration and accounting. And I'm also a part of various other clubs and groups and sports here on campus. Okay, I think I'm the last one. Um, my name is Caitlin. I'm a third year computer information systems major. Um, I was actually a transfer student, so 
my first year was somewhere else and then I transferred in. Um, like the rest of our wonderful students, I work in admissions and various other places. So yeah, we're excited to answer your questions. All right, I think the tour is happening. Um, I will start by sharing my screen. So I will be, let's do this one. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna go full screen. Just go. Um, so this is a kind of like a 360 view of our campus. Very, very clear pictures here. Um, so this is kind of the view of our campus. We'll start out um, at the AOT Center. It's called, our students call it the AD building. Um, this is one of the two buildings that we have classes in. So this is the view from the front. Um, we've got our other um, building right here. That's a L building. Um, so we'll just kind of um, circle around. Hopefully you don't get sick here. Um, I'll try to go slow, um, but we'll turn around. This is called the Peter and Paul Lunder School of Education. We'll walk right in. So this is the kind of lobby here. Upstairs, we've got a bunch of classes. Um, right now, there is a little desk right here. This is going to be our new welcome center because um, we did a little construction over the over the summer. So this looks a little different, but admissions is still right here. So we've got um, all of our lovely people in here um, that you guys just met. This is where we start our tours. Um, so you'll meet your admissions counselor in one of these two um, little conference rooms um, and we start right here. This is the mail center. Um, I know it says the welcome center, but this is where we get all of our packages. If you live on campus or off campus, um, it's basically like a UPS FedEx. So you don't have to go off campus to do that. Um, and it's kind of like our little hangout area, I guess. Um, we have a lot of places on campus where you can just sit down, study. Um, we actually have two more couches right here. So it looks really cozy. Um, so we'll go to our first classroom here. So this is actually, you can see um, on this window, it's backwards, but it says the Harold Alphon Institute for Business Innovation. Um, so this is um, a classroom. It's a pretty cool classroom. I'll show you from this view. It's got couches. Um, we got a 5.3 um, million dollar grant from the Harold Alfond Institute to build this classroom. Um, it gives students paid internships um, and it also creates a flexible um, creative environment for professors and um, students to kind of collaborate. So I'll give you a little view around here. And I don't know about you, but I've never seen couches in classrooms. So we'll go to the second classroom. This is upstairs near Lori's office. This is one side of our Center for Innovation in Education, our CIE. Um, so we've got um, professors' offices right here, specifically education professors' offices. So um, a little hangout area if you'd like to talk to them about your assignments, specifically for our education majors. We've got a little sink right here, um, nice whiteboard, and it's double-sided. Um, so my first year roommate kind of explained it to me. She was an education major. So they learn about teaching um, in this side over here, which will go. Actually, this is our second classroom. Um, so they kind of learn about teaching in here and then they apply it in the other side where they can move the desks around. They can present, present things for themselves. Um, you can see right here, um, we have some pretty cool projects made by our STEAM um, students. So um, we have a really cool professor, Dr. B puts that on every year and he teaches um, students about science, technology, engineering. Um, I believe it's 
art and math or something with the A. Um, but over here, um, I'll go back in this classroom. We have a telescope, which is really cool. Um, we have Dr. B who um, teaches anthropology. We have VR headsets in here um, to do like virtual classroom learning. And we also have our 3D printers in here, which are really cool. And they're all in this um, little corner. So next we will go to the gymnasium. So we were just um, outside over here to the right. I was kind of showing you everything, but this is the outside. You'll take a little walk. We actually have a fountain right here um, and it's pretty cool. So we'll go in the gym. Um, we have our basketball teams that play in here. This is another pretty nice view of that. Um, so like Seth said, we have 17 varsity teams. Um, you can actually see, not in this picture, but we have all of the teams that we play. Um, most of them are in Maine. Some of them are New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, um, but teams do do a little bit of traveling. And it's just pretty good for um, team bonding. We'll go to the Hall of Flags, like where Luke is right now. Um, so this is the Hall of Flags. We have just under 70 of these flags and each one of these represents a student or a faculty member and where they're from. Um, so we like to recognize that Maine is certainly not the most diverse area and we like to bring as many people as we can in here. Um, so every time we have a couple new students who need a flag, we do a, an inauguration of that flag. Um, and this list right here um, is all of the nationalities that we have. So um, I'll show you a little picture. This is one of Luke's pictures. <laughs> So um, over here in this corner, this is the auditorium. So we'll head in there. This is actually where Brooke is, I believe. So um, we'll do a little 360. This is around 300 seats. Um, we have our um, Thomas uh, Stage Company that does their plays on this stage. We do public speaking classes in here. Um, our dance team does their um, showcases in here. We also have, oops this um this screen right here so you can project movies um there's a little um, computer right here which is actually my favorite part of this auditorium you can come in here and watch movies um guys like to play video games or watch the super bowl um so that's my probably my favorite part about having a small college is this area isn't really used um on a typical school night so you can go in there and um have fun with your friends I'll give you a little um, 360 view. We actually also just recently had a um, fashion show. So if you can imagine a bunch of um, people in nice clothes walking down these aisles, it's a really cool, um, it's a really cool show that we put on these past two years from our international club. So we are done with the AOT Center. We're gonna head up the hill to the Alfond Athletic Center. So this is where, um, right around here was where we were, but we walked up this hill. So Harold Alfond Athletic Center, we're gonna walk in. This is where most of our teams practice. Um, when it's too cold out, obviously when it is um, nice out, they have a nice weight room in here. But we've got bikes over here. Um, you can rent those out if you wanna ride in our trails on campus, off campus, if you'd like. These boxes right here are for ice skates. We make an ice skating rink every year um, because we can kind of smooth it out and all of our um, students can rent those out for free if they wanna go ice skating. Um, let's walk through here. We've got our um, field house. So three tennis courts. Um, we use those as basketball courts. Um, and we've got a one-tenth of a mile track that goes right around here. Most of our teams practice in here when it is too cold out. Obviously, the snow covers the turf field, so we can't use those all year round. So this is a pretty nice um, place, and it gets pretty warm, keeps all of our students nice and cozy in there. We'll head into the fitness room. You can see we've got virtually everything you need. Um, so we've got 
two weightlifting platforms, um, a bunch of exercise machines, a bunch of dumbbells. We'll turn around from here. Some cardio machines. Um, if you're work study eligible, you can work at this athletic center. Um, I know Caitlin can attest to that. If you like playing some music for people um, in the fitness room, it's really nice to have some nice music blaring in there so it's, it's not too quiet. Um, this is our multi-purpose room. Our dance team practices in here. Shauna obviously spends a lot of time in here. Um, we've got our cycling uh, bikes. We have classes every now and then. We also have yoga classes every Monday and Friday in here for free. Um, and I personally like to use this for like ab workouts after I've done like some lifting, they have some yoga mats and all that fun stuff in there. So downstairs, we also have a plyometrics room that our track team uses quite a lot. Um, so next we're going to head up to Hinman residence hall. So we'll look down here. That was where we just were. So, um, We've got Bartlett right here. We've got Village right here. Um, those two are not available for first year students. So I'll just focus on Hinman and GPH. But um, just keep in mind after your first year, you can live in other places. Bartlett is suite style. So five to seven people in a suite and Village, we'll zoom in here. Um, they're basically like little motel rooms. You've got your own um, shower, bathroom and sink um, and they're for right around two people. So we'll walk into Hinman. This is our um, newest dorm building. And let's see if we can show some pictures of the outside, maybe while we're inside. So this is Hinman's lobby. We've got a nice little study room in here that has an Xbox. Let's see these pictures. So this is what it looks like from the outside. Nice little action shot there. Um, each, um, each floor of Hinman is divided into two pods. So there's one girl side, one guy side. Each pod has their own little lobby slash study room slash kind of lounge area that you can hang out in, watch some TV. We've got a TV right there for you. Um, so we've got the mailboxes right here, some laptops or sorry, computers in there and a printer. We can look at a dorm room. So each dorm room comes with your desk, chair, got a closet, um, this bed, you can put that um, as high as you need, nice window. Hinman, um, you can live there with a roommate or um, we do have other accommodations if you do need to live by yourself. Um, but it does come with a dresser and all of that fun stuff. Great storage for under there. Feel free to bring a, um, TV, microwave, and um, fridge. So um, that is one option. You do have another option, which is GPH, which we'll go to next. As a first year, you can live there. Um, the difference between the main difference between Hinman and GPH is that Hinman um, is first year only. So you'll live there with just first years. GPH, you can live there all four years. Um, GPH is also um, has the opportunity to live co-ed. So we have two halls that are single gendered and one hall that is co-ed. So you can live either or if you live in GPH. So this is the nice little lobby of GPH. It is a little bigger. So we do have kind of a bigger living area for them. There are a lot more students. So we have a pool, um, a little pool table and a ping pong table as well. And some t uh, TV over there, which we can't see. Got a study lounge in here. And this right here is Heath Hall, which is one of the single gendered halls we've got. Uh, Grant, which is another single gendered hall. And then over here is Parks. That's why it's called GPH, Grant um, Parks and Heath. We also have our health center, which is our nurse practitioner's little office in there. So um, you can always scan into GPH, even if you don't live in there, um, to see our nurse practitioner, Cheryl. And we'll go, let's see, we'll try and go outside so I can show you um, some pictures of this. Oh, here we go, dorm room. 
So this is what it looks like in GPH. You've got your windows, you've got the same um, setup here. You can move it all around. Those um, closets aren't too heavy. Um, same thing, you live with one other person, you share a bathroom for your hall. You do have laundry in every dorm room area and laundry is free this year, which is really, really awesome. So you don't have to worry about going off campus. You can just walk to your bathroom and do your laundry. So we will head outside of GPH and I'll show you this picture. So um, this is the building that we're headed to next but I'll show you it from another side. So that is um, our other entrance for GPH. If you do live on campus and you have a car, um, feel free to bring it. It is not an extra charge at all. Um, we just um, charge you $5 for a parking sticker. So we will head into our last little building here and then I'll show you the turf fields. So um, this is the School of Business. This is the second building that we have classes in. So we call it the AL building. This is the finance lab. We'll step in here. So this is a pretty cool classroom. Um, it has a stock ticker for all of our business majors, finance majors, um, and the time zones. The news is going on over here. So this was made to mimic the environment that students are going into after college. Specifically, the business students, they've got the double monitor screens, kind of like the cubicle-esque um, vibe here. It's also clear, so everyone that walks by can kind of see you guys learning, which is good. Um, so something cool about this is it's basically a computer lab that other students can use. Um, so you can always scan in here with your ID 24 seven, even if you have a 2 a.m. final to finish up. Um, this is always available for students, even if um, you don't necessarily have classes in here. So we've got our esports um, cave upstairs, which we'll head up to. So we have a varsity esports team. Um, they play games like League of Legends, Overwatch 2, um, Smash, Rocket League, um, and if you'd like more information, definitely our coach would totally love to uh, talk to you about that. Um, we actually have cooler chairs, so let me show you this picture. Pretty cool chairs, right? So um, they have Alienware, um, and they um, our varsity sport here on, at Thomas. So really cool. Um, our new sports center, which Ryan was talking about, that will have a lot more space for them. They'll actually have, an, have a whole competition arena. So we're really excited to open that up. So we'll head out here, back in the lobby. Let's go to the library. So this is our lovely library. We've got tons of physical books, obviously, um, but we've also got an online library. We have a video library where you can watch videos. Um, that's especially helpful for me as a psychology major. Um, this is the prettiest little um, window we've got here. I love the lighting. It's very nice for um, doing homework. So we can see the idea building over here. Um, you can rent out laptops, books, chargers, phone chargers. If your laptop um, somehow gets run over during finals week, you can rent one out for free um, and we will just need that back whenever you get a new one. Um, I'll show you a little picture of that. We also have our people at the service desk right here. Um, these are people that can help you out with minor um, computer issues, um, Wi-Fi problems, stuff like that. So, <clears throat> And um, in this building, we also have our Student Success Center, which is our um, TRIO offices. Our TRIO students are students who are first generation college students, have any identified disabilities or they're low income. Um, so TRIO helps students um, who have those, um, those qualifications and they can help them with budgeting, they can help them with their schedule, um, 
and just overall help for those students. We also have our early start program where students can come on campus early and finish a whole course within 11 days and kind of get their um, feet dipped in the water so they can know what um, college really looks like before college even starts for them, which is uh, super helpful. Um, and that's a free, um, a free application process for first year students. And then we also have our tutoring center. So free tutoring for all students. We have to, uh, students in all um, degree programs and we can help them out with virtually any class that they need with. And lastly, our turf fields. So um, we'll see in this picture over here, we'll go on a turf field, but this is our red field. We have um, two fields. This red field is for our field hockey girls and the black field over there, if we can zoom in, um, is for our soccer, lacrosse, um, soccer and lacrosse boys and girls. So we have two turf fields for them. The red turf is a little shorter for our field hockey um, girls and the longer turf is for uh, a little more forgiving for the ankles. Um, over here is where our new sports center is. So this was taken a little bit ago, but I'll show you what um, this middle of the field looks like. So if you can just imagine that's GPH over there, that's the AL building, which we were just at. So um, if you guys can just imagine running out onto the promenade in the middle through that tunnel, that's probably gonna be some of our athletes' favorite things to do. Um, so I'm sure that actually is a coming soon picture of our new sports center. So that's done. Um, and yeah, that is all we've got for our little virtual tour. Owen will fill in the cracks that I um, wasn't able to show you guys, but let me see if I can stop sharing. Am I sharing? Does anyone know? It's, you can still see it, yeah, let's see. Owen may be able to grab it by clicking share screen. Let me just exit here. Escape. I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay. You want me to do anything or you got that? I got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Now my turn, I do believe. <laughs> all right. Um, so again, uh, my name is Owen. Uh, I'm a third year here. And I'm doing a little supplementary uh, tour um, here. So first up, um, our first stop that we're going to be on is our Span Student Commons. Um, so this is uh, just like the common area. It's like the, in, in the middle of campus. It's where you're going to eat. You're going to hang out. Um, there's a lot of different events that are going to happen in this building. Um, these pictures are kind of your little intro to it. Um, if we, if it'll let me interact with this. There we go. Um, so our first stop on it is going to be our dining center. So you get um, a dining plan for campus. It's not required. Um, and, a, and a lot of schools will say that even freshmen need to do that. Um, we don't. Um, you get a certain number of meals per day. You can swipe in at 7 a.m. Uh, and check out at 7 p.m. And that's just one swipe. So I really enjoy the all you can eat benefit there. Um, but we have a, a whole setup in here. So you walk in, you've always got your grill options. Um, you move over to the other side, you have your meat and potatoes kind of home cooked meal uh, sliding along this counter here, you get your salad bar. So you always have all reliable coming around. Um, it, this kind of leads into behind this area, uh, which we had the 360 cams in here too, um, but sometime soon. Um, but we have uh, Coke products, a huge fountain of drinks. Um, there's usually like four ice creams. Um, I I've had far too much of that this semester. I've cut back recently, but it was usually ice cream with every meal. Um, then we've moved in. Um, we have a 360 degree brick oven donated by Portland Pie, which is a big company, um, big pizza company here in Maine, at least. Um, so there's always a pizza option. Um, who doesn't like pizza? Coming around uh, the side here, then we come in um, and we always have a pasta option. We always have soup options, things like that. Um, there's one more. There's always an international menu item as well. So we have a ton of different things to eat, a uh, huge diversity of options there. Um, and if you don't like that, um, we also have a couple alternative dining solutions on campus as well. Moving over um, into the common area outside of the dining center, we have different common spaces. Um, you see in the top left here outside, we have a fire pit, um, which goes every once in a while, just keeping warm. Um, 
this is just a pretty little area to show off that building. Um, on the right up here, that's our um, Barry Dunn Student Senate meeting room. So your student senate's going to meet there, your clubs will meet there. Um, like any space on campus, like Mia mentioned with the auditorium, if it's not in use, um, you can use it. You're paying for these spaces. You should be able to use these spaces, and we really value that here. Um, she mentioned like guys will have uh, Super Bowl tournaments in the auditorium. Uh, we had a Madden tournament um, going on back, back in the day, my freshman year. Um, we also have the common space where everybody hangs out. We have um, a pool table, foosball table, ping pong table. We have a big TV up there. Um, every single TV on campus has a Roku hooked up to it um, from Thomas's dime. Um, we have a subscription to Spectrum, Spotify, YouTube, Hulu, um, uh, basically any subscription service you can think of. So there's always something you can watch in there. A lot of times people are just playing music on whatever they like. Um, around the corner, you can see um, around here, we have every one of our clubs up on the wall. So there's like 30 something, maybe 40 something different opportunities to get involved on campus. We really value being involved. Um, and if you don't want to be involved, nobody's going to judge you for that either. Um, but if you want to be there, there's the opportunity and you can create that opportunity. Um, there's also a bunch of board games and things if you want to do things like that. Just good place to hang out. Um, it's really nice when it's freezing cold outside and blizzarding. You have this really cozy area where everybody on campus can come and hang out. Next up, we have Dog Pounds. This is our first alternative dining solution that we're going to talk about um, on this little mini supplementary tour. Um, so this is built into your meal plan. We get these things called board bucks. So um, the more meal plan swipes you have at the dining center, the less board bucks you have and vice versa. Um, I usually opt for like one, one and a half meals a day and a ton of money at the dog pound just because my schedule and usually I don't have time to eat until very late. Um, so this is also um, uh, a consistent menu. So if there's something you don't like in the dining center, there's always going to be your old re reliable here. Um, we have Red Bull products. So if you get like a refresher at Aroma Joe's or things like that, we do the same thing, but with Red Bull products and things like that. Um, we do have our campus store. Um, usually I give people um, a little bit of fuzz about, oh, go buy our merch, but you can't do that today. Um, but that's a place that we go. Um, there's also certain things like your phone chargers, laptop chargers there. So you don't have to go off campus to make sure you can get your stuff done. Um, and I do have this picture down here because a lot of people take their food into the common spaces and just hang out there. Next up, we have residence halls that we didn't talk about in the uh, original tour. Um, those ones were optional to freshmen. These ones are strictly upperclassmen, so uh, they're not as in-depth on tours typically. Um, but first up um, right here, this would typically be our first stop. That is our townhouse selection. Um, so your townhouse is kind of like living in an apartment with you and six to eight people. Um, there's two floors. You have a living room area, two bathrooms. You don't have a kitchen or um, laundry area in your building, but there's one within like a minute and a half walk from you um, in one of those buildings. So everything's really close. Your uh, mail center is right there. So all your mail is going to come right to you. Um, it's really nice to feel like you live off campus. You feel like you're self-sustaining. Um, but if, like myself, you wake up late often, uh, it's really easy to get to class and not be too late. Um, so that's a good good space for upperclassmen. Um, I have never lived in this next hall. This is our Bartlett Hall. Again, it's for upperclassmen. Uh, this is more like a hotel suite style living. So you, you and six to eight other people are going to live in what is essentially a hotel suite. Um, you share a couple bathrooms. Uh, again, the kitchen is in your building. The laundry area is in your building. Um, it's very clean, nice, um, nice building to live in. Um, I've gone there for a couple different activities, um, but that's what we have for upperclassmen. And then this last one, um, we have little Tommy hanging out outside. Uh, that is our village residence hall. Um, so village again is upperclassmen housing, um, but this is almost like living uh, like a motel style living. So your door opens directly outside or the door opens directly into your room. Um, you and one, you can get a single, double, um, and some people get triples as well. Um, you have a bathroom right there. Again, in the village area, you have your laundry and your kitchen. So there's always an area that you can have feel like your space. You don't have to move too far um, to take care of everything you need to take care of. Um, I didn't have a car this semester and I barely left campus um, and I was able to feel sustained and get things done um, and also feel like I have that separation between my school and personal life. Next up, um, we have our second alternative dining solution on campus. 
um, Genie's Cafe. So we have a nice close up uh, right here, but in the background, you can see the cafe. Um, but it's our on-campus Starbucks. We have a full service Starbucks. Um, I drink coffee probably every day. I never used to. I stopped last semester um, and now I'm drinking it again like crazy, but uh, they're super personable. Uh, I walk up and now they'll always just give me a little bit of crap and like I don't have to order anymore. So they're really nice uh, faculty or not faculty, a very nice staff that work there. Um, Let's see, we also have Red Bull products there as well. So if you don't wanna go all the way to the dog pound, you can stay at Genie's Cafe. Um, and we have this area, um, it actually gets so um, not boisterous, but a lot of people are there uh, hanging out that we had to put a glass wall in between this cafe and our library a couple of years ago, because um, it's a good place that people hang out um, and study. Um, it really just feels like you're on a, a very isolating, um, isolated from your room and your activities, but you can have social activities and things like that as well. Um, and finally, uh, we're going to talk about Super Fourth Family Sports Center. Mia mentioned it on the tour. Um, we have some more updated pictures and things like that. Um, this was dedicated just this fall. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's slated to open very soon. Um, we have the, these beautiful lights um, at night. It lights up um, almost every single one of the bleachers and everything for, I mean, 100 yards away. Uh, really is going to be a pretty intimidating sight for away teams at night. I'm really excited for that. Um, here we have like our locker rooms. Um, we have heated floors, heated floors for our home team. We don't have heated floors for the away team locker rooms. Um, but it's a nice little area in there. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm extremely jealous of the uh, athletes that are coming here. Um, and we have this little, um, just this view down here. That's your tunnel where you're going to head out of. So every single day when you're heading out um, for a game, you have to go out hollering, having a good time. Um, I'm really excited to go to games here uh, and just enjoy this time. That's all I have. Mia covered most of everything. So um, that's what I've got for the supplementary tour. Thank you. Let me see if I can disconnect. Oh, where is my Zoom screen? How about the stop share button? Awesome. Thank you, guys. Um, and just before we get started with the student panel, I just want to say that our virtual tour is on um, our website as well. So if you ever want to schedule a visit, it can. there is an option to click on our virtual tour to just um, navigate yourself. Um, I just want to also say that if you do come for a visit, you have the potential to meet with a professor, coach, have lunch. Um, our tours are gui guided by our student ambassadors, which you mentioned met a couple today um, and enjoy the beauties of Maine. We are also offering this year um, a $250 visa card for any students that would like to come and visit to help with expenses. So you'll get that visa card in hand when you um, show up for your tour. Um, but now we will go off to our um, student ambassador panel. So they're going to tell you a little bit more about what they do on campus, what brought them to campus, where they're from, um, also majors, internships, um, or activities they're involved in on campus. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to Mia, and she'll tell you a little bit about herself. Absolutely. Thank you, Nicole. Um, so like I said, I'm double majoring in criminal justice and forensic psychology. Um, my favorite thing about Thomas, like um, a lot of these lovely people have said, is the connections you get with your professors. Um, that um, is not why I came here, but it is why I stayed here, definitely. Um, my professors are so knowledgeable in their um, field, and they are so willing to help us have one-on-one -on -one conversations with all of their students. Um, and I also love um, the staff here as well. So not only um, our professors, but our people in our registrar. Um, I had a goal of going abroad to study um, and they helped me make that happen. Um, so I'm planning on going studying abroad in uh, February. Um, so if everything works out, then um, I'll be in Australia for the semester. So um, not only have they helped me, you know, do my ad, um, academics here, but they're also helping me go abroad um, for a semester, which I'm very, very excited. So if you have any questions about that, definitely um, feel free to ask me. It's been a very easy process. So I'm going to hand it over to Owen. And I'm already losing my voice. Um, no, uh, my name again, uh, oh, and you just heard from me um, about myself. I think I already talked quite a bit. So 
uh, I'll get back down to the why I chose Thomas. Um, I chose Thomas just for the relationships um, and the connections and also the fact that you can make a difference in this community. I really, truly believe that. Um, I've taken every opportunity that came my way, um, sometimes to a fault. But if there's something you want to do, um, this is a good, good place to make sure you can do it and be supported in doing it. Um, both taking the opportunities and stepping away from opportunities, I've been supported at this campus, and that's really, really important to me. Um, I'm here. Um, I was up until midnight last night buying a car and everything. I'm home. They're supporting me, making sure that I am able to um, make these different uh, sacrifices and also take these opportunities. I'm here trying to represent this school because I truly believe that this is a great place that you can be successful. Um, I'm going to keep rambling because nobody is going to be talking back at me. So I'm just going to hand it over to Shauna before I keep going. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so my name is Shauna. Um, I am from Milford, New Hampshire. Um, I'm a third year senior, so I'll be graduating in May. I took part in the three year program, um, the accelerated program. Um, I am a forensic psychology major with a criminal justice minor. Um, and as far as involvement, I'm kind of in the same boat with Owen. Um, I definitely have broken out of my shell since my first year here. Um, couldn't be more thankful for that. Um, I created a club called Active Minds. Um, it's a nonprofit nationwide suicide and mental health awareness club. Um, it's something that I'm very passionate about. Uh, and then I'm also the dance team captain and a student ambassador like these fellow students. Um, and I'm a part of a bunch of different other clubs. Um, I chose Thomas because of the small community. Um, as soon as I stepped on campus, I knew that this was home. Um, so I think as you guys are looking for colleges, it's really important to have that feeling and understand what that feeling feels like. Because um, if it doesn't feel like home, then it's hard to you know, make the connections. And um, I'm very thankful and grateful for all of the opportunities that Thomas has given me. Um, like I said, I was very shy, very quiet. No one knew me my first year. And now I'm kind of all over the place. So um, yeah, that's all. That's me. <laughs> I guess I will go next. So my name is Parker again. I'm fourth year here at Thomas. Um, I am a forensic accounting major, as I said. Um, so I'm a part of the student senate. I'm the treasurer. I'm also a member of the men's um, indoor and outdoor track and field team. Um, I'm a CA. I'm a part of a bunch of other clubs. My busy is pretty, pretty scheduled. But the nice thing about Thomas is we have a lot of resources here that can help you manage all that stuff. Um, so that was one of the reasons why I chose it. Um, and if, you know, my advice, if you're looking for a school, you know, like Thomas, um, your first year trying to get as much as you can involved with various clubs and groups on campus, because if you do that, um, it just will help increase your experience like it did for me. So, oh yeah, so CA stands for a community assistant. So we switched um, this year from RA to a CA because here at Thomas, we wanted to try and kind of rebuild the community and bring back um, that experience that we had here on campus before COVID. So I'm a part of a team of 18 other people and we are working on campus to try and um, help students in the residence halls and just kind of help them make sure they have a good experience. All right, so I think it's my turn. Sorry that the lights keep shutting off. <laughs> I'm sitting too still, um, but my name is Caitlin. I'm a third year. Uh, here at Thomas, computer information systems major. Um, I kind of came to Thomas, transferred out because I realized I was much more technical than I originally realized. And I was able to really discover myself my first year of college and switch to a program that I really loved. Um, Thomas is one of two colleges in the state of Maine with my major. And there's just an environment about here that I was like, yep, yeah, this is the one. Um, what I really love is how prepared I feel for life after college, um, which isn't something that I completely anticipated. I was just like, oh, well, I'm going to get to the real world and just not know what's going on. But my professors are so well-versed and experienced. I was able to get an internship my sophomore year 
which not very many people do. Usually it's junior, senior year that you get one, um, but I was able to get one my sophomore year and keep it. They have actually just uh, offered me a full-time position come graduation. So I'll graduate next fall, uh, December, 2023. And go right into a full-time position. And I would not have been able to do that without my professors here that have prepared me. Wonderful, thank you for sharing. Um, So right now, do we have any questions for our students or our admissions team? Yeah, Nicole, I appreciate that. That fantastic tour, you know, uh, the the um, just hearing students adds a whole lot to it and just gives our students a better feel for someone their own age you know instead of me telling me what I think it's like it's uh, uh, and then you know I've had just comments you know the f- facilities look amazing um, the merit scholarship students are impressed with that the three point two GPA and the funding um, you you actually answered I had about twelve questions and <laughs> you basically have answered them all let me there is one I think that's pretty permanent I you know we have it's interesting to hear the students talk uh, about, you know, where they're from and kind of fitting in there. We have a lot of students in a lot of states around you and further away, but Vermont, New Hampshire, um, New York. So in New York, we have quite a few uh, uh, schools and students there. We have a couple of questions that are basically, um, you know, they, they're SUNY options of, of, across New York, of course, but some want to get out of state a little bit and try something different, but don't want a big college, they want something small. So just a few questions about, and maybe this is for students from out of state, you know, you have, you have kind of these in-state options. Why, why would someone come to Thomas from New York, which this student sounds like they, they want to, they're just kind of thinking about uh, wanting maybe a student to talk about what that's been like for them. So I, I would take that for sure. I mean, yeah, I would love to jump in on that. So um, I'm from a small town in East Lyme um, in Connecticut. And so I went to a high school that was roughly 1300 people. And I grew up around, you know, schools like UConn, University of, um, you know, New Haven and Yale and all those other schools. And so um, a lot of people that I graduated with, they all wanted to go to their big schools, you know, the you know, the usual like Clemson and all those other big schools. But for me, I really, when I came up here to Thomas, um, it was an area I kind of grew up with coming up here during my summers. And so um, I came up here when I took a tour to Thomas, I didn't really think about it too much. But then as I came here, I realized that, you know, with all the resources that Thomas has and the opportunities that they could have provided me, I just kind of felt, you know, um, that it was a good fit for me. And then when I got here, the community was just great. You know, I um, made a lot of friends like the first day, I, you know, and um, got super involved. And so it really increased my experience. So I would, you know, kind of advice is, you know, for someone who kind of want to get, you know, get into a smaller community, just be involved and just kind of um, explore your options and just get out there and, you know, see what, you know, they provide. So. Thanks. Yeah, that's, that's, that really captures it. I think our students have been kind of thinking about those things and the options and you laying it out like in Connecticut, you know, you got UConn, you got all these options, but you made this choice and, you know, obviously it's worked out well. So, um, yeah, this is probably, a, we have other questions and I'll, I'll email the other ones that we have. We've gone, gone a little bit over, but um, we really appreciate everybody taking the time. Uh, I, you know, I got a good feel for the, for the campus myself, just the size I mean, the fact that you're that, you know, Lori, your president took the time to come on and, um, you know, that each of you took the time to talk about it. You can tell it's a family and it's, it's uh, that you all, that you're passionate about it. So we really, really appreciate it. Nicole, anything else um, you wanted to add or at the end? And now I'll, I'll send these questions that I have and um, you can kind of disseminate them to the right person. Yeah, absolutely. Feel free to send over any questions at any time. We're happy to help. And if you want to send us students as well, we're happy to walk them through step by step. Um, All of our counselors are on standby for whatever we can do to assist bridge that gap between high school and college. Um, I just wanted to emphasize that we are, um, we hope that your students can take the time to find some time to come visit um, Thomas College um, and or reach out and ask us any questions they might have. Yeah, no, thank you. I, yeah, we'd love to get uh, students up there. I mean, it's th- this is a great kind of setup to g- give them a little feel, but, you know, as you know, nothing like being on the campus, right, to, to truly feel it. And uh, it just looks, it looks spectacular. And I, I think that we've had questions. I'll send you some questions about 
uh, majors. We've had some kids ask about forensic accounting and some other things. But, um, you know, again, thank you so much. And we look forward to partnering with you in the future and bringing students to, to check it out. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. You, thank you. Everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Care.